What up guys, so we are back with um, the same video a couple days later now. It's been about a week or so and I finally have all of the uh, correct nuts and bolts for almost everything we have to do except for the radio. Uh, what I found out was for the radio is that um, we need a completely new wiring harness because uh, previous owner looks like they cut out the wiring part for the harness or the radio harness uh, so I need to get a new one of those and while I'm at that might as well do a full new wiring harness for the entire car because a lot of it's been cut and a lot of it's been moved around and I have no idea where it all is so we are going to do a refresh on that um, however in this video we're just continuing uh, or you know what I mean, we're just continuing um, where we left off. I finally got the correct um, screws, bolts for the quick release. I believe they are M5 by something now, uh, which are these, or these may even look too big. I think, yeah, those ones are too big. I think those are M6s. These are the ones, these are M5s to get the, short hub and the quick release on to finally get the steering wheel on and then I also got the correct bolts for um, the shift boot, the shift boot insulator uh, which were M6's I believe so we will get that on, we'll get the steering wheel on, we can't get the radio in but I'm gonna try to bolt it in and just mock it up but we also got the uh, the vents to go back in for now just to make it look a little more complete. Um, so yeah, we will get started on that. I will get you guys onto a tripod and then uh, we will start. So let's get you guys set up. All right guys, so first order of business is that we are going to get this insulator boot in, um, just in there. Uh, Cause what it does is that a lot of heat from the tranny comes up and then it just makes this a whole steamy mess. Um, so this right here is the product number on Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, something like that. Um, but I will leave a link in the, the description for it. Um, it's like an OEM replacement, so it's pretty good. First thing you gotta do, I believe, is you take off the shift knob and then I just mocked up, um, or I didn't mock up, but I was just double checking that I got the right bolts and the right sizes so they put it in I'm gonna grab these out and then stick in the boot itself I, I may need washers which I didn't get but we shall see I believe it just goes like that and then you bolt it in really quick and then we will get on to the next thing Okay, so that is all done. Uh, this is on now. Um, before I put everything back together, I'm gonna try to put the radio in and just try to mock it up and see what it looks like. And if anything, uh, just keep it in there for now just so it looks a bit more complete while I get the wiring or source out a wiring harness. Um, so let me grab the radio and do that really quick. Okay guys, so I got the radio, uh, just grabbed it really quick and I, what I realized is when I put it in, um, it's not even anywhere to mount it into the actual dash. Um, so I probably need a, an adapter just like for a double din to go in there and then it even has like a bit of room on the outsides when I just mock that up really quick. So there probably is a different uh, adapter to put a double bin in here um, so I need to get that ordered in and then also just for the wiring and all of that stuff so that will stay out for now um, this can that can chill right there while we move on to the steering wheel and then 
once you get the steering wheel in, then I'll bolt all of this stuff back together. Okay, so for the steering wheel, same thing as before. I don't remember if I showed it or not, but middle nut is a 21 mil. So get that off. So once that is off, pop off the steering wheel. Um, get the short hub in. Uh, line it up with the middle. Make sure that's in. Get these wires out of the way and then pop this nut back on, I believe. I don't even know if I'm doing this for sure, 100% right. Looks about right. Torque is about right. Close enough. And then, now this is the quick release. And you got to make sure that you line it up right so that um, so that your steering wheel goes on straight whenever the, you have the quick release in. So I'm just going to line it up with the steering wheel. And yes, I do realize that this is like a uh, eBay quick release but it is an energy hub, so it kind of works out. And it looks like, it looks like I'm turned a bit, or no, maybe not. It looks a bit off, because I feel like I need to be straight like that, but it's a bit off. Unless the steering wheel's just a bit off. Oh my god, I think I did goof because I think the steering wheel is just a bit crooked. So I will line it up like this for now and then. Nope, I'm gonna just stick it on. And stick them on. So everything is just being tightened in a star pattern. That looks good enough. There we go. Uh, wheels look straight when all of this is not straight. So I'll we'll probably be Oh, yeah, it looks like the wheel wheels are straight when this is a bit crooked, but we'll fix it eventually. Um, quick release on and off. That's all good. Uh, probably next thing is you need to figure out all these shift boots and door cards and just got to get rid of this army and then need obviously this. Uh, gauge cover. I need a gauge cover and a steering wheel cover. Um, but yeah, um, gonna bolt everything back together, and that seems like all for the video. Just a couple things that needed to be done, and now done. So you guys, that is all for this video. Um, I know that a lot of it in the beginning was just whole bunch of experimenting and now is really quick putting everything on um, all I want to do is make this car so that it looks a bit better than it does before or it did and um, just just enough to get it running again I just want to get this car back on the road um, get some seat time with it and then yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of just a really quick put together um, next video, I am going to be working on putting on the wide body and going wide. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that and make sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. So yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video.